Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you enumerations, also known as enum. So when you, you know, hear about it, you probably hear it referred to as enum. Probably best way to show you what they are, they're a pretty simple concept. Pretty much all languages have it, and they, you know, they can be really useful. You see the keyword enum, open, close, curly braces, uh, I've got one thing, you need to specify the name of your enum, and for superheroes, and specify some you know, indexes, so I'm gonna say Yoda, Batman, Superman, and, and I'll put Lantern. Okay, so if we was to print this out, so if I print out just all of superheroes, like so, let's see what we get. So we just get from that, it's not very useful. What if I try and print out an individual one, like superheroes.yoda, what do we get? We just get the same thing printed out. But if we do that dot index, we get zero. Okay, we're getting something different now. So if we do all of them, you can use the for each method that I demonstrated in the maps video, but because there's not many, I'll just manually do it. Lantern. And if I print that out, we get 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, I think you've seen a pattern here. So these will just go increment up by 1. Okay, so we've figured that out. But, like, what's the use case of this? For example, if you are basically, you know, creating an application where maybe you can choose a character. So you're, you're making some sort of epic superhero, you know, game that has, that has Yoda in there and free DC characters as well, then you want, you know, some way of saying, okay, I've selected this particular one. And maybe if it's zero, that means you, you know, select Yoda. As a result, you know, it'll show you all the Yoda levels. It'll show you all the moves that Yoda can do and any other specific properties as well. And the same thing for Batman, Superman and Lantern. My thinking, why not just use zero, one, two or three? Thing is, if we see that for the code, that's, you know, just a bit, confusing one if you ever make a change you have to change it everywhere two it doesn't you know demonstrate what it is these literal numbers don't whereas if we do superheroes dot yoda you know okay this is to do with yoda this is to do with batman that's basically all it's used for you can use it to assign superheroes dot yoda dot index or the index to an integer for example and keep track of something and then you can do some sort of comparison as well saying oh is batman selected this then you know make him fight bane or if you're selected make him fight you know emperor palpatine you know something along those lines enumerations are really simple but really really they can come you know, really really useful and nothing more to it than that but if you have any doubts you have any questions about where you should use it or its implementation feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.